Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today. The topic of the day is going to be the new pay-as-you-go option to access Autodesk products called Flex. I'm Dottie Townsend, and I'm responsible for sales training and development here at Imagine It. And co-presenting with me today is Jamie Clark, one of our customer onboarding specialists from Imagine It's dedicated customer advocacy team. We have had a lot of new words and acronyms hit us over the past few years. So our agenda today, first, I'd like to make sure that we're all on the same page and review a couple of definitions of the terminology I'll be using. In this invite to the webcast, we did share a short uh, six minute video reviewing new Autodesk terminology and account management. If you haven't had a chance to view it, I do recommend after this event today, if you can take a few minutes and look it over, it'll help you understand some of this terminology in more detail while everything is still fresh. I'll also do a high level overview of what Flex is and how it can benefit customers like you. I plan to review how you can purchase Flex and a little bit about assigning users and tracking their usage. And at the end, before our Q&A, Jamie will give you some information on how Imagine It's customer advocacy team can assist you navigate your purchase options with and help you with account management, not only for Flex, but for subscription as well. And then we have some subject matter experts who will be answering your questions. So one big change is how we assign and manage products to our users. Traditionally, we have used terms like contract manager, software coordinator, and serial numbers. It's different now. As we're moving closer to a named user environment, we will begin speaking in terms of the contract manager being the person that's handling the renewal and the billing of the contract or contracts. The primary and secondary admin will be the, at, per, the people that oversee products to the users or teams. And serial numbers will be known as subscription ID. So once again, we have that video. It goes into much more detail about um, user management. So please make sure you take a look at that if you have any further questions. And of course, we can always answer some of those at the end of today's webinar. So the new term is flex. This is the name of the pay-as-you-go option now available from Autodesk. Flex usage is measured by tokens. And tokens are purchased in predetermined bundles for access to Autodesk products. You can purchase tokens in a bundle of 500, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000. And there's actually larger quantities available up to 50,000. Now, pay as you go or flex is going to be a great fit for companies with occasional users of Autodesk products. Now, Autodesk is defining occasional as less than seven days in a month. Now, this could be multiple subscriptions shared among one or more users. This could be a good fit for a company that's interested in aligning their software usage to an associated cost. And this can also be a great way for a company to try out a pro product, excuse me, before a large upfront investment. Now, Flex is available for top Autodesk products from collections. We have the AEC collection, product design and manufacturing collection, media and entertainment collection. Tokens can also be used to allow access to products outside of a collection. So an example would be a company that is standardized on AEC collections, 
but occasionally needs access to a product like Inventor. Another good example would be a small company that primarily uses AutoCAD, but maybe needs occasional access to a product like Revit. Now, understanding how to assign tokens is where this whole Teams thing becomes pretty important. A company can have multiple teams based on their company needs. So teams could be created based on your company locations, perhaps projects, or different cost centers. It's important to note, though, that a company can't purchase a bundle of tokens and just split them between a group of users or teams. Now, a company can assign users to both subscriptions and flex. And in that case, when a user has both, the subscription will be used first. So for example, if I was assigned to a subscription of AutoCAD, and I also have been allowed access to a pool of flex tokens. I would use my subscription when I use AutoCAD, and then I would use the tokens only when I needed to access another product, say Inventor. Now, here's a company scenario that hopefully can tie this up a little bit tighter for everybody. In this scenario, we have ABC Company, and they've designated a primary admin, Bob, and a secondary admin, Fred. Now, Fred and Bob are managing all of their Autodesk products for ABC Company. The company has two subscription contracts for two teams based on the company locations, one in Maryland, and one in DC. ABC company also purchased 500 tokens because a user in each location occasionally needs access to a product that is not available on the subscription contracts. So the company designated specific users to gain access to the tokens. They designated one user from Maryland and one user from DC. Now, this company also has a summer intern. And each year, that intern will be added to the contract three where the flex tokens are and will be able to access a product that's assigned to them. So the key takeaway here is that you can't split tokens. In this scenario, the remaining members of the subscription teams on contract Maryland and contract DC would not be able to access those 500 tokens. So they basically would have two options. If ABC company wanted all the members of the two teams to have access to tokens, they would have to either assign everybody to the token contract to get access, or they do have the ability to purchase bundles for the Maryland team and another bundle for the DC team. And it works like this. So once a user has access to Flex and they launch a product made available to them through Flex, they have access to the product for 24 hours. I start the day at 8 a.m. on Monday, and I open AutoCAD, and I use it for a few hours in the morning. My token account will be charged seven tokens, and I have access to AutoCAD for 24 hours until Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. Now, I can use AutoCAD as often as I need in that 24-hour period for the cost of seven tokens. However, if I were to open AutoCAD, use it for a few hours and never close out, the token account will continue to be charged seven tokens for the AutoCAD product for each 24 hour period that the software is open. 
Now, Flex tokens are available for offline usage. A user will connect to Autodesk to access the product. They can then take it offline and they will continue to be charged until they connect back with Autodesk and close out the product. Now the user will receive an alert from Autodesk as it nears the 24 hour mark. And it will remind them to either log in and either close out the product or it will be pinging Autodesk to update the cloud on the work that was saved offline, or excuse me, the work that was done offline. So to equate these tokens into dollars, AutoCAD, for example, is seven tokens for 24 hours, which is about $21 a day. Whereas Fusion 360, is two tokens, which is about $6 a day. Now, on average, the cost is about $3 or less per token. And of course, that's based on the bundled amount that's purchased. And it's gonna be real important that users understand that they need to close out when they're not using the product because it will continue to use tokens. Now, again, an example, if you have a user that's using tokens on a product Friday, and if they forget to close out before they leave Friday, that is gonna to continue to be charged against the token account until the product is closed. And we are going to be uh, sending as a follow-up, a link where you can get some additional daily rates on other products. Now, you also may recall about 18 months ago, Autodesk introduced plans. Now, as we move closer to a single user named environment, customers, subscriptions, and tokens will be on an Autodesk standard plan. Customers with greater than 50 named users do have the option to upgrade to a premium plan. So the key point here is that each plan has different reporting features. A standard plan will show just the aggregated token usage. However, customers who are eligible to upgrade to a premium plan will get greater visibility into the user details and how they're using their subscription and flex. And just again, a reminder that if we're using Flex tokens, Autodesk will notify you when those tokens run low and you can purchase additional tokens through your partner like Imagine it very easily. So some of the, the key takeaways for today is user management has changed and moving forward, the way we manage users is important especially when purchasing and assigning Flex. It will be important to educate Flex users. We need to make sure that they understand the importance to close out of the product when they're finished using it to avoid additional charges against the bundle of tokens. Now, as a benefit of being an Imaginate customer and listing us as your partner of choice with Autodesk, it does give you access to a dedicated customer advocate who can guide you, not only with your Autodesk subscription, but Flex. They can help you figure out what the best purchase options will be and also help you with all aspects of user management. So this is a great transition to our guest speaker, Jamie, who can give you more details on how we work with customers like you. Jamie? Hi everyone, uh, thank you Dottie. Uh, like Dottie said, my name is Jamie Clark and I'm at uh, the Dallas, Texas office. I've been with Imagine It now for uh, 15 years working in coordination with our sales organization and Autodesk. You heard Dottie talk earlier about the new Autodesk features and account management process. Imagine It created the dedicated customer advocacy team 
to assist you with navigating through your account and introducing you to some of the new features available with this new named user environment. Our dedicated customer advocates will not only assist you with managing your accounts, but help you better access to access productivity and maximize your investments. Explain and assist with creating account administrations and new features available to you to better manage in your users and software. As secondary admins on your account, we can take some of the burden off of you by helping to create teams, assign users, and get your users up and running quickly. We can also work as a liaison with support to troubleshoot and expedite any issues, allowing you to focus on other business initiatives. We will be your partner in guiding you through your account management every step of the way. You can reach the Customer Advocacy Department at customeradvocacy at rand.com anytime, and we will put you in touch with your dedicated customer advocate. We look forward to working with you guys in the future, and I'll turn things back over to Dottie now to wrap things up. Dottie? All right, thanks, Jamie. Thank you. All right, so while I have everybody's attention, before we start the Q&A, I wanted to remind everybody of a few cost-saving offerings in January from Autodesk. Until January 18th, Autodesk has partnered with finance companies to extend 0% financing for 36 months. And this is for new and renewal subscriptions. Also, after January 7th, the discount on a three-year subscription will change to 5%. This means customers choosing a three-year term will continue to secure pricing for 36 months but it will be at a slightly lower upfront discount. Now, Autodesk allows renewal contracts to be processed up to 90 days in advance. So this means for customers with renewals up to March 7th, they can optimize the upfront discount and potentially finance for 36 months at 0%. This is allowing your renewal budget to go back into your pocket and could be used for other company initiatives. So there's some restrictions that apply. So I really encourage you to reach out to your Imaginate contact to discuss your renewal options.